to Some in chance for a better and others for the worse. Couple found a needle and few found a church. Things stay the same, one thing I know for sure. It's the people I knew and the people I know anymore. It's one of the few jobs I've been able to find where I can play gigs at night without question. Because the family owned the restaurant, they let me go whenever and wherever I need to. Trying to chase the dream. First love settled down. We share the best she deserves that more. See the people I knew, only the people I know anymore. I mean, he's trying, you know. He's uh, he's not gonna stop until he gets probably what he wants I and mean, that's pretty admirable because most people would have given, given up by now so you know I think he'll do it one way or another he'll do it so we'll see I hope he does man he's a new guy can kick you like time trying to settle the score see the people are new the people are new a couple of years ago, I was like just starting out, and I had a good spot at the old Easy Street Cafe. They were letting me play there a lot, and they had me come in and play on the 4th of July, before the Mud Hens game, and then after the Mud Hens game. So I went down there and played before, and then decided, well, it's going to be so much traffic with the fires and everything, Let's just see if somebody's trying to go check out the ball game since we're already so close. Then we'll go watch the fireworks and I'll come back. Well, I had a couple drinks during my gig before the game. And what do 21, 22 year olds do at a baseball game? They drink. And by the time I got back for my set after the fireworks, I was playing like 45 seconds of songs and just like, I don't want to do that anymore and moving on to the next. <laughs> and I got a call the next day from the manager there and I was like, well, I blew that, and he goes, so uh, I heard you had a little to drink last night. Yeah, a little little bit, a little bit. He goes, yeah, well, I guess everybody else had a little bit to drink too because everyone was saying they had a really good time. Don't ever let it fucking happen again. I'll see you on Thursday, and he hung up. So I learned right then and there that you can have a good time at your shows, but don't have too good of a time or you can really blow a good thing. part of the reason why we need you guys to pre-order this album through the Kickstarter program. It helps so that I can get the record out and maybe not have to do this five days a week. Scrub it away at some dishes. A few years ago, you could tell by my super thin glasses that my vision is just not the best to begin with. A few years ago, unfortunately, detached a retina and did surgery, and then it just kept detaching. So I'm so young. When people have surgeries like that, they're usually in their 60s, so their scar tissue and stuff doesn't heal this quick. It just kept breaking everything that they were fixing. And you can tell, like, I don't even have, like, a pupil anymore. I have two different colored eyes. People are like, you can't see it all. And it's like, yeah, this eye is Ray Charles. It's completely black, no color, no light sensitivity or anything. So that keeps me from being able to get to gigs. And luckily, I've got really good friends that don't want me to give up. And they're willing to help me get to where I have to go, taking cabs to get there. So, not only playing shows, but it makes booking difficult sometimes. So I'm kind of hoping that maybe this documentary will not only help fund the project, but maybe some people will see it and understand that a little bit better too. Oh, 
So I've known Dunlap for a really long time, and he's a fantastic musician. And I think about musicians that I truly love. And I think about, you know, like Ray Charles, Stevie Wonder, Ryan Dunlap. They're all great performers, and then, I don't know, you know the other fucking half, I guess. Okay. Dunlap, I love you, and I'm so proud of you, and I can't wait to see you on the big screen, and I'll bring you sausage and green pepper pizza. Oh, thank you guys very much. Yeah, don't forget that woo.
Love you. Ryan Dunlap. I still think you could win American Idol. But I love you, and you're my big brother forever. He's being so loud. All right. Ryan Dunlap, you're amazing. You're so talented. You're going to go far. I love you so much. You're my big brother forever, and cheers to that. Woo! Oh, good. All I gotta say is Ryan's a really cool guy, and um, a lot of people think he just uh, goes to bars and plays music on the weekends or the weeknights, but I don't think anybody realizes how much effort and time he puts into all this. A lot of people think it's just a hobby, but I guarantee a lot of people watching this that either have done what he's doing now know all the crap he's had to go through or they just wouldn't have the balls to do it themselves so I'll never be one to not give him props but I love the guy he's a good guy and Def Leppard He's gonna say something while you're thinking.
Dunlap, I'm sorry that it rained. You should have asked, what did Jay say? What did what Jay did say? Well, I, there's many things I can say about Ryan down there, but one of the few is uh, I'd give an eye for him. He's been a best friend. I've known him for the longest time. I'm, I'm probably going to be there when he makes it. If I don't see a dollar from my support, I'm going to be upset, and he will know that. Um, with that being said, uh, he probably could hear me right now. I'm going to be a little more quiet. Um, I love the guy. Honest to death, he knows that. He knows that. <laughs> Sorry, Dunny. I'm done. Here, boo. Here. Here. Your turn. Say something. Say, say. Can I get another grab? <laughs> <laughs> say something nice. Sure. Both of you guys. Do it, do, it, do it together. Do it together. Do it together. I'm good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I told you. Right. Dude, you have that perfect, right? With him saying Rachel, Stevie, what it right? I hope so. I couldn't hear him, but hopefully he recorded okay. I got you. He's like, I've known Ryan for a long time. You got uh, you got Rachel, you got Steve Warner, then you got Ryan. You don't have time for that. They're musicians, and you know, you know the other half. That's great. I don't know what you want to talk about here, but whatever you want to talk about, you can start off with. Um, let's talk about the new album that I just finished recording out of Firefly Studios. I used a bunch of local talent from all over, and we got a full band on it this time. It's only a couple songs that are a little bit lighter. Everything else is completely full band stuff, which is really cool and really, really different for me. Um, I think I've grown a lot as an artist in that, like, just 
every aspect, like recording, writing, being more more toned and honed in on like what it takes to make a full song and make a a good song, which I hope people think we made a good song. Um, just really hoping that I can get help from everybody out there to help get the project out and hopefully people that have come to my shows and people that have supported me for years this is something that I've been working like blood sweat and tears like literally in the studio for over two years now and just really really want to get it out and want people to have a chance to hear it and give me a chance to do like bigger things because of it I don't know what else man <laughs> trying to think of what else we can ask you. <laughs> I think it's somehow creative. Right? Oh, man. So, you want to talk at all about the Mudhounds being canceled? Yeah, that's a bit of a bummer. <laughs> we were hoping today through this documentary to show, like, just a busy day of my my life, my schedule, show you what musicians go through. Like it's not all easy. We don't just show up to where we're going to play and just play. Like we do have day jobs that aren't necessarily the most glamorous to continue to do what we dream about doing. And we're hoping that tonight we're gonna have a big opportunity to sing the national anthem at Fifth Third Field. And unfortunately the weather is not really cooperating, but we are here at Home Slice Pizza. Gonna play a good show. Got a good friend, Curry Long, coming to play some sax later, and I'm sure that'll help show you some of these new songs that I've been working on over the past couple years, and hopefully you uh, make everybody want the album that much more, like once you see what these songs are about, just acoustically and get the imagination working and what they'll be as a full band.